Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey. Let's talk all about mental health, food, nutrition, male mental health, all the things we like to talk about. Let's specifically talk about one of the most important nutrients for your brain health that a lot of people aren't getting. Almost always it's at the top of the list when we look at measurements of nutrient insufficiency. Those are the foods or the nutrients that we're really not getting enough of every day. In the last NHANES, the National Health and Nutrition Epidemiological Survey, 96% of Americans weren't getting enough vitamin E. In natural foods, there are eight different forms of vitamin E, uh, tocopherols and tocotrienols. A lot more is known about the tocopherols, although there are a few interesting studies about tocotrienols. But I think it's one of these lessons that we have about natural, whole, real foods. They have some things that supplements don't. So a few more quick facts about vitamin E, and then we'll get into the top food sources. So another really important idea around vitamin E is that it's a fat-soluble antioxidant. This means it dissolves in fat and protects fat from oxidation. That's super important for your brain, right? Because your brain has all these really, really long-chained uh, polyunsaturated fats. And polyunsaturated means the molecule is holding on to a lot of energy, and it's also really easily oxidized. That's one of those reasons, you know, fish kind of smells fishy faster than maybe beef smells like it's spoiling. The reason that fishy smell is the oxidation of those long-chained omega-3 fats. So vitamin E is one of four fat-soluble vitamins. There's vitamin K, A, D, and E. And vitamin E really doesn't get enough attention. That's one of the reasons I wanted to make this video along with that great study. Another fact about vitamin E and depression, boy, there's a very strong correlation. There was just a study that came out in February 2023 by Samuel and Alexander Huang, and they looked at the most recent NHANES data, 2017 to 2020, and what they found was a very strong correlation between vitamin E consumption and the risk of depression or depressive symptoms. And it's very interesting to, to the point that they quantified it, that for every five milligrams of vitamin E that you eat, you decrease the odds of having depressive symptoms by 13%. And if you go above the 15 milligrams a day that, that generally is recommended, there's no additional benefit. So let's talk about where you're going to find vitamin E in your natural diet because uh, whole foods are really the way to go. As I said earlier, you get eight different forms in whole foods. The only food I found that has all eight forms of vitamin E is barley. And so first let's talk about some of the grains. So oats and barley and other whole grains are great sources of vitamin E. Uh, another source, one of my favorites, are sunflower seeds. Really easy to add into salads or add into your trail mix. I'll even throw them in omelets sometimes or in a stir fry. Uh, great, great source of vitamin E. This is why one of the reasons we want you to move to olive oil is the primary fat that you're using in your house. Olive oil ha has a fair amount of vitamin E in it. So those are some of my favorite sources. And as you can hear, there aren't lots and lots of sources of vitamin E. Uh, another source that I like are avocados, one of those top brain foods because it's that fatty fruit. Again, contains a lot of vitamin E. And then there's some lesser sources, things like peppers or spinach uh, that, of course, you know, are great because we're looking to get a diversity in our sources of vitamin E. So again, a really important nutrient for a long time we've known in psychiatry, there is a correlation between vitamin E and depression risk. But it's really an understudied, underheralded, and also underconsumed nutrient. So I hope this video really helps you can increase your consumption of vitamin E, thinking about that wonderful statistic that every extra five milligrams that you get or a population gets, there's a decrease in depression risk of uh, 13%. So that kind of really motivating there. And additionally, these are all really delicious, wonderful top brain foods that also have lots of other vitamins minerals, nutrients, fiber, and phytonutrients that are all really great to have in your dietary pattern when you're thinking about eating to feed your mental health and eating to improve your brain health. I hope this video helps inspire you to get more vitamin E in your diet. Check out more resources on my webpage and also Eat to Beat Depression and Anxiety has a really nice diagram about vitamin E as well as lots of um, more information in terms of the studies behind vitamin E and mental health. I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.